Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Here we are back in the Crystal Palace, which is also the place where the final dungeon of the game is. And these are from Fusia. Omni Casting Augment, Bless Augment, and Phoenix Augment. This is what I was talking about. Uh, several episodes ago the characters that leave the party if you give them augments uh, up to two then you get two augments in return so there's there's that uh, now I didn't know that early I only found out right here at the end so that's something you may want to try when you play through Final Fantasy 4 this version the uh, DS Steam version. Yeah, you know, I'm playing this on Steam. The giving augments to characters that now you know will leave the party. And okay, maybe not Kane. Kane would be the exception because he always comes back. But the characters that leave, like uh, Yang, Edward, Tala, those. Zemus awaits us down below. That he does. Kane, you need something. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Uh, Cocktree summoning spell. Sure, it's there. These are just optional summoning spells. I've never found really a great use for them. They're not strong or anything. It's completely optional. Just nah, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, recall. Oh, tell us thing. Focus. Focus could be cool. Uh, analyze. Auto potion. Reach. I'm not sure what that does. I'm not sure what any of these do, honestly. I should probably head outside. Save. We can look at them, and then. <laughs> Save. Save here. I like the crystal music more, so we're gonna do it in here. <laughs> okay, Phoenix, I have a good idea. If it's Phoenix like in the other games, you... I wonder if it costs anything. Use Phoenix and everybody should get revived. That's Phoenix's big thing in the Final Fantasy series. It sometimes also does damage. It's typically a summon. Here it doesn't seem like it's a summon. It would teach the summoning spell. So maybe it's just an ability. Phoenix typically does moderate fire damage. Its big selling point is, hey, I revived the entire party. Now hopefully this is going to work how I think it is. I'm going to give it to Kane. I know, that may seem weird. Learn Ability Phoenix. Okay, let's take a look. If it's too expensive, then... Oh, expend all MP to revive party when KO'd. That's perfectly fine. Kane doesn't, it isn't going to do anything else with his MP anyway. Excellent. Typically, Phoenix has it's just a summon, and it'll cost a certain amount. You summon it, and it brings everybody back. This sounds like as soon as Kane is KO'd, he's going to use all of his MP and bring back the party. This is excellent because Kane is going to be the last one to die, more than likely. This is why. <laughs> because of jump. He won't be on the ground for attacks most of the time if we do it right so he'll be the last one to go down and then when he does he can bring back the entire party that's handy okay omni casting sounds like something Rosa should have hmm I don't know what I would take off though Probably items. She won't be using items. Other people will use items. 
keep forgetting where this thing is. <laughs> it's under key items. Uh, bless sounds cool. We'll have to see what that is. Um, again, this sounds handy. I wish I could see what the ability did before giving it to somebody. Uh, let's give it to Rosa. Learn ability Omnicasting. Yeah, I have no idea what... Oh, Bless. We know what Bless is. And it gives everybody MP back. Hmm. I just want Kane to jump all the time. Um. Oh, yeah, let's take a look. Omnicasting. Target all enemies or allies with any spell. Can I not take off items, really? Hmm. Then she wouldn't be able to attack anymore, but... She doesn't attack that much anyway. Target all enemies or allies with any spell. Yeah. So that's great on Rosa because a lot of her really good spells only hit one. You can't multi-target them. <clears throat> like uh, Blink. Haste. Holy. <laughs> Wonder if I can multi-target a Rise. That'd be great. Uh, haste will be great because we can multi-target multi-target haste to give everybody haste in one go All right, that's really good What else I'd give Kane something else, but what, what else do I have? The Hutto potion <laughs> Blessed level lust. Focus. I'd like to give focus to somebody so they could focus, focus, and then do a ton of damage. But I'm used to not having these, so. Um. I think we'll just go like that. Those uh, other abilities are cool. The Omni casting. I probably missed out on some really good stuff. Also, I did travel around. A little bit looking for other augments they're probably out there I don't know where yeah I can <laughs> tell you a ton about Final Fantasy 4 except the stuff they added in this version <laughs> so we'll go with this the Omni casting is really great so make sure you give I guess it's two augments to Fusuya he'll always give bless and then you'll get Omni casting and Phoenix for the two augments you give him so just give him stuff that you don't care about I even forget what I gave him. I gave him, what, Curse and something else. Okay. Fusia and Gobes may actually be strong enough to do this. I can't even imagine how foul a monster Zemus must be. We're coming for you, Zemus. These crystals... Are they vessels for the thoughts of the Lunarians? What crystals, you may be asking yourself. Also, make sure you have full HP and MP. I kind of like how that worked out, so I'm going to go ahead and save real quick. And we'll save... We'll save here, sure. Alright. Rosa is talking about these crystals. Yes, the crystals are in here. As you can see, there's the eight crystals. And this is where the final dungeon is, this platform in the middle. The destruction of the Tower of Babel shattered the barrier that Zemus had erected. You should now be able to reach him within the core. 
Fuxia descended into the core with Kluya's son some time ago. The hours pass, but still they do not return. The battle of wills between Zemus and ourselves is generating an enormous tide of energy. We are directing all of our energy toward neutralizing the unrelenting waves of dark thought emanating from Zemus. I love why you're doing this, you get one of the most awesome themes. Just in games. This theme is just so... I, I don't know, there's just something to it. It's just one of my favorite themes. Norse Tide of Energy, you're saying the same thing. We will guide you to the core. Powerful weapons, once deemed a threat by the Lunarians, have also been sealed away in the lunar subterrain, alongside Zemus. You must seek out the core. Hint, hint. <laughs> okay, there's very powerful weapons and armor down here. You would do... You would be wise to seek them out. Hopefully I can find them all. Stand here. We will guide you to the core. Welcome to the Lunar Subterrain, the final dungeon of Final Fantasy IV. Still have map completion stuff to do. The Obviously, the enemies in here are going to be no joke. They're going to be some of the strongest enemies. Of course, we've seen the Dark Sage before. And they're just going to get stronger. Prey. So that's now going to be her default is Prey. <laughs> Thundaga. Uh, you just attacked Cecil. Blizzaga. Which will attack everybody. Should have summoned somebody. We're fine. Goodbye. You take more damage than I remember. Summon Titan. We just need to bring Cecil back and then it'll be over. No problem. Yes, like I said, the enemies in here are going to be some of the strongest enemies you face. And hit. It's going to be tough. But it's worth the experience. There we go. Why was Zemus able to control Golbass? I couldn't forgive Cecil either. Not at first. He's waiting for us down below. I can almost feel the evil. This wave of hate. Does it emanate from Seamus? No. Radia lost her home. Edge. His parents. Is it this way? Yes. Also be prepared for secret passages and the like. You have to go up and around. Uh, only strong enough to kill them all. Or to, to kill one with just one set of attacks. Baron answered, that's a shame. Done. Right. 
heal up again. Here we go. I believe up here? Yeah, there we go. And this way. There'll be quite a few hidden passages. Surprised! I don't like being surprised. So we'll just run. Okay. Heal again. This is why you wanted to go and buy stuff before... Before you were ready. Um... I didn't buy that much because I might be traveling out. <laughs> traveling back out. We'll see. Alright, head all the way around here. Grab this treasure chest. Inside here is the black garb. Enemy ambush. Be ready for this. Enemy ambush. Because... There is a a uh, most treasure chests will have enemies, so just be prepared for enemy ambushes. Sorry, my brain just decided not to work. Let's see what's inside this treasure chest. Hi, this is an armor construct. Where's Rosa, Libra? You should be weak to thunder, electromagnetic radiation. Maybe we'll see. Hold on. Defend. Analyze target status. You are weak to thunder. I don't think I stole anything. I'd like to, to see if I steal anything. Counter attack! Should just pray at that point. I will jump. There we go. That'll take off a lot of the HP. And just be prepared, a lot of the enemies in here are going to have, like, a lot of HP. Pray. Thundaga, so the fights will take a little while, but... Right. And that's that. And for our troubles, we get the black garb. Hey, Kane's level increased. Ooh, Edge now knows Frost. Another ninjutsu, you attack with ice. So instead of water, it's actually ice. Yay! I wish the ninjutsus were a little stronger, just because I think they're cool looking. And it's just neat that he's using ninjutsu. Anyway. Equipment. Let's see. Is the black... No, the black guard's for, uh... Edge. Black garb. While it doesn't give... While it doesn't give much... It doesn't give that boost to strength. It does give a boost to speed, making Edge even faster. And it gives him a ton of evasion. And also some defense. This, I believe, is Edge's strongest uh, armor. Body armor. So make sure to throw that on him. Because I didn't see it for... Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't know why I checked Cecil and uh, Kane's. I know what theirs are. Here we go. Uh, eh, we'll just stick with that. Okay. Moving on. And that should be it for over here. Yeah, so now we backtrack. There will be a lot of this. <laughs> ha! No. We'll just leave. Okay. 
And if you drop cash, it's really not that big of a deal because, well, there's nothing else to buy. Oh, that reminds me. Make sure you spend all of your cash before you before you run this place. All right, now we just run back because, well, there's no shops or anything in here. At least there wasn't. They may have put a shop in here now. I don't... I would think they haven't. Defend. And try to get rid of the Dark Sage. Dark Sage will get one cast. And that's why we had Cecil Guard. So he takes half. That should get rid of you if Cecil hits. Yep. And done. Good. I need to remember just to guard with Cecil, just because of the whole draw attacks thing. You know, there's an MP plus 50% uh, augment. We have it, right? I bet you there's an HP one that I missed somewhere. An HP 50% somewhere out there that I missed. And then I could have given that to Cecil and it'd been really funny. Just because, well, he'd be even that he'd be that much harder to kill. He'd have almost 6,000 HP. <laughs> Oh well, all right, back through we go. Hope I can remember all the treasure chests. If they didn't add anything, I should be able to find them all. Nope. Done. I think that's one of the most deadly fights here in this first part of the Lunar Subter uh, Subterrain. It's that right there. Defend. Just because the, uh, the Dark Sage can hit all enemies. And do a lot of damage. But beyond that, it's so. So the three of them are are tough because if they all decide to multicast on the party, people may die. But. After that, the Moon Mains aren't that big of a deal because Cecil can take the hits, especially if he's guarding. And they're just going to hit one person, so... You know, do the math on that one. Except for the counterattack. Prayer and answered. That's a shame. I think we work our way back around. No, there should be a way to that portal. It's just one of you. Just kill you. Let's see. Let me see if I can remember. Because there are a few different ways to go. If you just head down the stairs... Darn it. Forgot to guard. If you just head down the stairs... There's, uh... 
you'll get to the boss faster, but you miss out on a lot of treasure. I think that's how it, that's how it worked. Five. Okay, let's see. I think I want to take... Should be a way to this portal over here. Let's see if I can... See if I can find it. Right, I think... I think that's how we go. Well, preemptive strike! See, that's a little ridiculous to me. If I have a preemptive strike, I should be able just to insta instantly run away. So I think it's here. There it is. That leads us down here, where we saw this. Okay, this should take us to more stuff. Yeah, because this sends you over here. You go down this way. Basement 2. Uh, there's a treasure chest there. I don't think we reach it from here, though. I think we reach from the other side. Hi, Silver Dragon. Did I, yeah, okay, I did... Uh, see them already. Pray. Now attack the gold dragon. Oh yeah, you counter with constrict. Whoops, which is paralyzation. <laughs> you can get hit too. So you see, there will be a few different kind of paths you can take in this place. Some will lead you just through the dungeon, and some will take you two more treasure. Again, I'm going to try to find all the treasure for you so you can see where it's at. Get rid of you. Oh, miss. <laughs> Don't miss. Hit. There's Thunderbolt. Good. Stardust. And Rosa gains a level. So I don't think we reached that treasure chest from... From here. I think you go around. No, I fought you once. We can move on. <laughs> While I try to find these treasure chests, I'm going to be just running away from quite a few of these fights. That way we can make some progress. But if you're playing, I suggest taking the fights. Because you can get a lot of EXP from it. There's Sage's Staff and Enemy Ambush. Pray. Defend. And we can stun the Maiden. It'll be... Or the uh, Sage. It'll be good. Or miss, whatever. Okay, good. That should be it. There's a prey. Defend. Go ahead and defend too. I don't want to accidentally hit the uh, moon maiden. I don't understand criticals in this game. I've really been thinking about it. Because I don't seem to be doing extra damage with criticals. And if I am, it's really not that much. Like, maybe it's like an extra 500 damage or something? I don't know. It's just 
goes against the typical critical formula in this version. I don't understand. But anyway, we got the Sage's Staff. You can guess who that goes to. The Sage's Staff gives practically no attack power. That's the that's the deal. But it does give it does give spirit. But the rune staff gives more spirit, so I really don't understand. Because I don't think the sage staff has any additional. Uh, any additional effect. I don't think it does. By the way, it gives spirit. It's kind of cool. It's there. So I don't remember it. Let's see. Do I want to put it on? Eh. I'll just stick with the bow and arrows, even though she's not shooting. Why not? Okay, let's head around this way. So I don't head through there. And I believe we head down here. Hi, Bone Dragon. Bend. Go and pray. We've seen the Bone Dragon before, but I'll fight anyway. Why not? It's not that hard of a fight, especially if you have Excalibur. Hit Cecil again, Cecil will counterattack, and then you'll die from Edge's hit. Or not, you probably had the smallest amount of HP left. Anyway. Let's see, is it down here? No, I don't think we've reached that treasure chest yet. I think we... Yeah, I think we go a different path to get it. Yeah, now we're over here. I don't think there's anything this way. Okay, now let's head over here. Okay, we can head over this way. doesn't do anything okay that was weird I remember there being some paths like that that are just there All right now, don't worry about that church chest we get it later defend summon pray Okay. Counter constrict. It's fine. Counter attack. Prey. Summon Bahamut. Oh, that didn't quite kill. I thought it was going to. Oh well. It's fine. I guess I didn't do as much damage as last time. Go. 
Okay, down here should be something. Basement three. Nope. <laughs> Pass. What does time look like? I think it's about time to end this episode. We'll grab what's here and then move on. There'll be a lot of this, kind of backtracking, looking around. You don't want to miss the treasure chest in here. Oh, neat! They, like, put it on a pedestal. I don't remember that. Just did a treasure chest. Alright! To those who covet this blade, I bring death. And with this, you fight the white dragon! First thing we're gonna do, well, I need Cecil to defend. I need Rosa. Yes, she can now molt, she can now uh, cast that on everybody. Excellent. Attack, throw shurikens, and jump. This is a boss battle of sorts. Jump. Edge is now gonna go really fast. But doesn't it look like something? It should! For sure again. Can now cast Blink on everybody. Good, it works like I thought. Awesome. Blink? Summon Bahamut. Take 9999. Oh, you counter with Earthquake. To that, that's fine. You shouldn't have that much HP left. Oh, you're gonna slow everybody. Counter slow. Go ahead and jump. Now, because Kane wasn't here when it began the cast, he doesn't get healed, but that's fine. He doesn't need healing. So you see, this guy has a ton of counterattacks. And that's it. This is level increase. Murrah Summon. Kind of wish it was the Master Moon, but whatever. This is one of Edge's uh, blades that he'll get. It'll give him more attack power, more accuracy, a little less speed, but that's fine. He gets some more strength, which he needs. He's already fast enough as it is. Here's one. Remember, he dual wields. Put in his left hand because I can't. There we go. Um, and that's all that there is over here, as you can see. There's nothing else on this path. So what I'm going to do is teleport out, heal everybody up, save the game. And I'm going to end this episode here. Next time, we'll continue further into the Lunar Subterrain. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars. And take care, everyone.